strategies. Was savage. There are strategies to fix that. Let's see how Lulu looks. Pew, pew, pew. Money come my way. <laughs> What's up, AF babes? Welcome back to another episode of AF Shanghai, the coolest content for the coolest girls. Today, I'm at Central Studios in Shintendi where I'll be getting a head to toe makeover <laughs> from the lovely, talented, the one and only, the ultimate AF babe, Annie Intienza. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? I'm Annie. Go. Annie, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about yourself? You know, maybe for those people who may not know you. Sure. Thank you so much for having me on your show Truly today. Truly an honor. <laughs> no, Lulu, you know, I have lived here for four years now. Um, before I moved to Shanghai, I used to live in New York City. When I first started my career in Manhattan, I was doing something totally different. I was actually working in finance. Back in 2008, I made a swift decision and transitioned into fashion and have never looked back. Once I moved to Shanghai, I really expanded my business. I've been doing commercial styling and styling with magazines for editorial shoots. And of course, that core piece of my business, the way I started, with my personal styling and image consulting for clients is still going strong as well. You were saying that you did finance? Yeah. But now you do fashion. I, to me, you know, I feel like that's very contrasting. Can you tell us a little bit about kind of why you chose to pursue fashion and, and said bye-bye to finance? Yeah, you know, I think when I first moved to New York, I was a bit unsure of the direction I wanted to go in. I like the fast pace. I think you and I kind of are similar like for that. Sure. Um, after a couple of years working in the industry, it occurred to me that my life felt really bifurcated. I went to work and I was one person, and then I was out with my friends and being social um, on the weekend, and I felt like I was a very different person. And it occurred to me that maybe that's not how I wanted to live forever. Um, so I started to kind of question my decision about what my trajectory and my kind of future in, in the finance career path really was. And then in 2008, the stock market crashed and my hedge fund where I was working, we lost approximately $4 billion under management in one day. It was a really definitive turning point. I thought, uh, you know, now is the time. Now is the time to really make a choice. Do I want to try something new. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I enrolled at the Fashion Institute of Technology. So I really kind of took a jump off of the finance cliff and into the pool of fashion, but I'm super happy I did. I feel like I'm myself 24 mm -hmm. seven now and um, I'm just super happy about it. No, I'm so. happy you're happy. I'm happy for you. And that's nice what you mentioned about kind of like finding yourself and doing what you truly feel is you mm. because that's literally AF Shanghai's model to live your life your most authentic self whether it be like you know the CEO of a billion dollar company or just stay home and drink wine and watch Sex and City all day you know uh, be authentic <laughs> whatever exactly. you do that's what I'm talking about. so so I, I really uh, I resonate with that we resonate with that living your life to your most authentic self and it seems to me like you found it. You found your most authentic self. You know, I think that the happiness that I have found, even though it was very uncertain mm -hmm. at the beginning, how I was going to manage an entirely new career path, mm -hmm. um, it was totally worth it. And because I'm so happy, I feel I'm able to pass that on to my clients. It's like a roadmap to your life. You know, if you can yeah. get dressed kind of effortlessly in the morning, right. then the really pressing details of the day can get accomplished so much more easily. Yeah. Who wants to be stressing and looking at their closet and throwing clothes around like, you know, right. maybe that you've seen in movies or something. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Now that you mentioned, that's a really good one. Me and my team were thinking, you know, we're kind of curious because you do so many like makeovers. Yeah. Do you have a particular makeover movie or makeover show? Because I feel like if you like it, you know, maybe we can binge watch it one day. Well, you know, I think first of all, it's a little strange makeover reference, but I do love Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love that. How Robin really, Williams yeah. really transforms yeah. himself. But yeah. I would say... It's one his of, boobs look so real too. Oh, and scene. girl, they jiggle just right. <laughs> left yeah, and right. Perfectly. Huh? Exactly. But I would say I really also, you know, I appreciate Miss Congeniality. Mm -hmm. Classic. S Sandra Bullock, she's Classic. very easy to watch. She mm -hmm. has great comedic timing. You kind of remind me of her now that you said it, like your nose, oh, facial structure. Oh, that's a nice compliment. Oh she's, she's very stunning. Yeah. But, you know, I also think it's quite funny because there's the FBI element and yeah, then all yeah. of these 
kind of very girly things yeah. that she's not kind of accustomed to at the beginning of the movie. Oh, right, 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 very right, masculine yeah, yeah. character. Sure, sure. It's mm-hmm. kind of funny to, to see her stumble mm-hmm. a bit through being someone inauthentic, mm-hmm. right? So that's just even more proof that we really want to be authentic. <laughs> For sure. You Authent- I think you. Yeah, I think authentic. I think we said that like 20 times, but that's good. That's that's what we're about, right? Yeah, that's the motto. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the motto. That's what I'm talking about. That's so, the motto. Yeah, so today I'm going to get Style Makeover by Annie. So shall we, shall we get started? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, guys. So while the camera was off, me and Annie got to know each other a little bit better. And uh, yeah, so Annie, tell them all about me. Well, Lulu is fantastic. But what we did was we did an analysis of her body shape, her body silhouette. And we also had a little conversation about her style types. Mm -hmm. There are seven dominant style types that exist out there. What we want to do is identify which two or three you gravitate towards. Mm -hmm. And what did we find today? I believe one of them was dramatic. That's right. She likes a little bit of drama. The dramatic style type often has bold colors involved and outstanding details that often are oversized, a la this coat. Okay. We also found that you are creative. Mm. The creative style type is really exciting. It has a lot to do with mixing and matching. There's a fearless mix of prints Mm. and often a lot of mixing of colors. Sometimes these colors can be soft, sometimes they can be bold, but the general theme is that anything goes and you use your artistic creative side to lead the way Mm -hmm. in that style type. And tell us about your third style type. Elegant. Elegant. Which is really not me that much, but you know. No, but she is. <laughs> I'm a savage. You are elegant. Okay. You are elegant. Uh, one great thing to know about dressing in an elegant way is that monochromatic dressing, one color head to toe, mm. can really help you achieve that um, understated, stately style type. So that means you have all three of those in your soul and we want to find ways to express them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's take a little look at this beautiful silhouette of Ah, yours. My body. The body. Mm -hmm. Let's take the coat off. And I think it's interesting what you said how like I belong to three categories, you know, it's kind of like saying woman doesn't need to belong to one. Everyone is kind of would you say composed of multiple categories? That's true. We all have different sides of our personality, mm-hmm. so it's natural that we would have different style types that we gravitate towards. What I don't want my clients ever to think is that they have to gravitate towards all seven mm-hmm. style types. In fact, that can be quite confusing. And one of the things to think about mm-hmm. is when people meet you day in and day out, you want to project a consistent nonverbal message through your clothes. Sure. Sure. Because if every day you show up looking like someone different, people don't tend to trust someone who's like that yeah, as easily. For sure. Right? Yeah. You have these three style types. Yeah. Keep turning to them. No, that makes so much sense because with AF Shanghai, uh, one of the things when we were kind of establishing ourselves is yeah. to keep the same voice. And the thing is, mm-hmm. you know, you, um, you're you you're really able to project like a stronger message mm-hmm. when you know what what your what your lane is, what your style yeah, lane yeah. is. Yeah, Stay, slay in your own lane. Right? Yes, slay <laughs> in your own about. lane. So let's check out my body and right. tell me some stuff. So let's, let's understand a little mm-hmm. bit about this silhouette. Mm-hmm. Now the thing is, all of us, again, have an individual body that is different from the next so sometimes when people try to put you in a box it's a little difficult to understand Mm. and you might have heard people talking about I'm a pear shape Mm. I'm a square shape I'm a pizza shape very confusing to me all these foods I I want to eat food you know me too I love eating food but here's the thing what we do is we look at the exterior dimensions of your body, Lulu. Mm-hmm. We look at your shoulders, mm-hmm. right? We look at your little waist, mm-hmm. and we look at your hips. Mm-hmm. And what we find mm-hmm. is that your shoulders mm-hmm. are more dominant than your hips, Okay. and you have a fairly well-defined waist. Okay. But really, when we focus on your body, where we see the most dominance, mm-hmm. where you're the most molded and, sure. and, and, and uh, curvaceous, okay. is right through that bust line. The boobies. The boobies, girl. <laughs> so congratulations. Yeah. You've got a great Thanks, set, of, Mom. <laughs> set of cha-chas up there. Right. But the thing is, we need to balance that body, mm-hmm. because right now, you um, are not in perfect proportion. Yeah, no. And that's okay. Okay. There are strategies to fix that. Mm -hmm. We want to find you an outfit that goes from the editing room Mm -hmm. to being on camera to going to the social hour here in Shanghai, which you know so much business revolves around happy hour. Oh, for sure. sure. Right? So we need a multitasking outfit that feels creative Mm -hmm. 
or elegant mm -hmm. or dramatic because those are your style types. It has to balance your dominant shoulder line with your narrow hip line. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use strategies using colors mm -hmm. and interesting silhouettes that can visually broaden the bottom half of your body. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what I've done, because I want to give you a sense of something that's creative, mm -hmm. I've pulled this really interesting jacket for you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Take a look at this top. Let's show the camera. It's super creative, beautiful lambskin. It comes from Missy Skins, which is one of my favorite brands here in Shanghai. Plug. <laughs> now what? Plug. Now what I want you to do mm -hmm. is go ahead and give it a try. We're going to sure. pair it with these really great black lambskin leather pants, also from Missy Skins. And let's see how this works on your figure. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to have a little experiment. Okay. So go in the dressing room and go get your, get your clothes on. Wish me luck. Okay. Okay. So I'll be interested to see how this outfit looks on her. Uh, I really do love the shiny, flat surface of the beautiful lambskin that is comprising this outfit. Uh, I am a little bit concerned though that the silhouette might be a bit boxy and not flattering her in the best ways, but sometimes it's a little work in progress and I like to work with my clients through all of our body silhouette dilemmas, so we'll see what happens. All right, Lulu, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, come out. Let's see what you got. Oh, girl, look at you. What do you think? Come on and let's look at you in the mirror. So here we have this really beautiful lambskin shirt. I love this soft gray colorway and the rock star uh, studded detail. Um, I love the alternate collar. It feels very creative, something you were looking for. Now, what's interesting about this? I think we are on point with the texture of this lambskin. You have very shiny hair and very beautiful, clear, smooth skin. This is echoed within the texture of the top and that's working for you. However, we have some negatives. You have a lighter color that you're wearing right now on top, mm -hmm. coupled with the fact that this shirt is cut in a very boxy manner. Yeah. And this isn't really doing any justice to your bust line. Not to mention, let's also take a look at these large, oversized yellow patch pockets. I love this color yellow. It's kind of a vintage 1970s yellow green. Yeah, and mustard almost. It is like a mustard. But the problem is, this, it, this detail is masking where your waistline is. Mm -hmm. Rather, it's adding visual bulk because yeah. it's an added piece. Mm -hmm. um, and, and really the shirt is cut in such a boxy manner that it's, it's not highlighting that waist yeah. and kind of disguising and, and masking the bust line. Yeah. The other problem is coupled with the lightness mm -hmm. of the top, mm -hmm. we have a very narrow cut dark mm -hmm. pant. Um. Okay, and we know that we need to make the bottom half of you look a little bit broader what? to yes. balance with the top half so that you are emulating more of an hourglass balanced mm -hmm. figure. That makes sense. So this outfit, while it is creative and it does match your style type, the problem, Lulu, is that this combination is doing the exact same thing as the outfit you walked in with. Annie. Light on the top, dark on the bottom. No, for real. You know what time it is? <laughs> it's, it's time to change the new outfit. Yeah, I want to say something. Oh, okay, it's for me. I just wanted to show everyone, like, I got a pimple on my forehead because I think I ate too much, like, McDonald's, but I feel like this makes me really relatable, or more relatable. So the key takeaway from this outfit is that while it matches Lulu's creative style type and the leather is beautiful and shiny just like the open beautiful shiny palette that is her face and her hair texture, the problem is that the silhouette is far too boxy on top. She's wearing a lighter color on top when she should be wearing a darker color to minimize her broad bust and we need a wider silhouette with potentially a lighter brighter color on the bottom. So I've chosen another look for you that I want you to try on to show everybody at home how we balance. And here we have a really great top that's simple and black, okay, can match with everything. And then we have a really dynamic pair of black and white wide silhouette wide leg pants. And I think paired together, this silhouette and color combination is going to suit your body and visually balance you from head to toe. Let's give it a go. Okay. So. 
I'm expecting this outfit to look really great on Lulu for a couple of reasons. We found strategies to balance her silhouette, and this is what I'm predicting. Number one, we have a dark colored black top, which dark colors visually minimize the area, and that's what we need for her bust line. Number two, we're using a light pair of pants. If you remember, the pants are bright white with a very interesting creative black pattern. So light and bright colors add a bit of visual dominance to an area, and she needs that through her hip line. So I'm predicting that those two color combinations are really going to balance her. And let's not forget that our pants have a wider leg silhouette, which will also add a bit of physical art architecture to the bottom half. Let's see what happens. Lulu, are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's see outfit number two. This pair of pants hugs quite gently at your natural waist and then tapers out, cascades down gently into a wide leg silhouette, which helps give the impression of more of a balanced silhouette. Why don't we repeat in another placement on the ear, perhaps, mm -hmm. some additional creativity. Uh, a great rule would be whatever the length of your neck is, we want an earring to drop no more than half of that distance. Anytime an earring gets longer than half of the length of your neck, mm -hmm. it will visually shorten your neck and we don't want that. We want you to have a nice long neck and confident appearance. So how about I choose some earrings and I'll bring them over. Yes, I'm waiting. Okay, they're dark and mysterious like you. So I love that we did this exploration and showed a really uh, dynamic example mm -hmm. of what happens when you pair a light color Indeed. with a dark color to balance your silhouette. But I want to explore your dramatic side a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So what I've chosen is a really gorgeous pink look that we're gonna try on next. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be pink head to toe, and we're gonna see what happens in this instance. Love that. Okay? Okay. I'm really looking forward to seeing Lulu in this head to toe bright pink look. Anytime you choose a really dominant color like that, of course you're going to turn heads, but that's okay for her because she is very attracted to the dramatic style type. Uh, also, things that are monochromatic, one color, head to toe, tend to help us mask imbalance on top and the bottom with the body, so I'm expecting that she will also look quite balanced in this look. Okay, everybody, let's see how Lulu looks. Pew, 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 pew! Lulu, come out! Da, 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 da. <laughs> I love that. I don't even have to put sound effects anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my dear. Here we have a very dramatic mm -hmm. look. Mm -hmm. Head to toe pink. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel great. I love, love the color. The only thing is it brings out my pimple a little bit. I'm a big, what's that word? Saturation. Like even when I edit photos and stuff, I like tune up the saturation. So sometimes it's a little bit annoying, to, but I, I love saturation. Mm. Well, I think this pink look looks really mm -hmm. nice on you. Mm -hmm. And here's why. First of all, we have this gorgeous sweater. Yes. It is a very dominant high chroma pink, okay? Mm -hmm. And what's happening with it is it's very uh, closely cut to your mm -hmm. body. Mm -hmm. We see that you have a dominant bust line, but we also see because of the type of draping that exists through this gentle mm -hmm. sweater that your waistline does exist, okay? Then what we see is a very similar color pant. Mm -hmm. So because we have a matching top and bottom, this is a little bit of a gentler tone of pink though. And how do we alter the tone? We add a little bit of gray to the original color pink. Mm -hmm. So here, what we see is pants matching the top, mm -hmm. and anytime we have that monochromatic mm -hmm. head to toe look, it visually masks some of the imbalance mm -hmm. that we might have existing in the body. This is a great outfit for attracting and building business, I think. <laughs> Business, here we come. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. <laughs> Money come my way. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this transformation Mwah, from head to toe. And before we get going and just call this a wrap, I want to thank you, Annie, for your work, for your tips, for your advice, for me, and for all of our AF babes. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Okay, remember if you're an, <laughs> remember if you're an AF baby, you can do absolutely anything. 
I'm feeling the pink and the blue. If you're feeling the pink, and, feeling the the pink and the blue. Anytime really. you need mm -hmm. help or if people in your audience mm -hmm. need help, you yes. just let me know. Thank you. I can help you figure out your best colors. Sure, sure. I can help you do personal shopping. Uh -huh. I can help you figure out how to mix and match everything uh -huh. in your closet. Just mm -hmm. let me know. I'm multi-talented. Well, <laughs> as are you, my dear. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please share our content with our friends so we can make with our friends, with your friends, so we can make more content like this. And remember, as always, we invite you to become an AFA by following us above or long press the QR code below and join the AF team today. Until next time, be cool, be AF. I'm your host, Lulu. Annie, any last words? Just be genuine, be authentic. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Annie, thank you so much for styling me, <laughs> for sharing tips with me, as well as our AF babes. And until next time, be cool, be AF. Bye. Bye. We're done. Uh, sure. No, I'm just no. I'm very like low key. I never do stuff like this. You know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> You're watching Disney Channel. Uh -huh, yeah. You're watching AF Shanghai.